Hi, my name is Daniel Schechter and I'm the writer and director of Life of Crime. This is a scene that jumped out at me when I read the book The Switch by Elmer Leonard, uh, upon which this is based. It's a good example of the tightrope that you're going to walk when doing his material because it's meant to be genuinely suspenseful, let's say, but there's also sort of an underlying dark humor here. Uh, the context here is that uh, Will Forte is just about to make his bold uh, gesture towards Jennifer Aniston, who he's trying to have an affair with. Uh, and unbeknownst to him, he stumbled upon a, a kidnapping where Moe's deaf, who we see on camera here, and, uh, and his partner, John Hawks, who's in the other room. Um, here's a needle drop that we, uh, we put in. We, we tried many different songs to go here because it's probably the most featured song in the movie. And I think uh, we found one that we were really pleased with. And it was really fun in post to sort of take all the music and bounce it around the house from the various perspectives. Uh, for those who haven't picked up on this already, the film takes place in 1978. So all the wardrobe and music and wallpaper are appropriate. Uh, Forte is hilarious, but he's often unintentionally hilarious. He, he seems to be a magnet for sort of clumsy accidents. He'll often trip and walk into doors, and here he was trying to make a martini, and uh, it just got stuck. But he just goes with it because he knows it's funny and completely stays in character, and uh, I think uh, the real audio of the scene had me cackling behind it, ruining every take. Um, and upstairs here, Aniston sort of stepped on a piece of glass that uh, John Hawks is kindly removing uh, for her. Um, the rest of the sequence now should hopefully be building towards uh, a suspenseful climax between our characters. Um, let's see, this was taking place in Greenwich, Connecticut. We shot this in 2013, and this beautiful home gave us sort of a lot of fun angles to shoot from, which is exactly how I pictured it in the book, which is miraculous that we were able to find such a location. And then for me, this was sort of like, you know, I'm like a Harry Potter fan getting to see all my characters brought to life. I, I love this book so much that it, I'm such a fan and I can't believe we got this cast to come out and do all these, these parts. Somebody say they wanted an ice cold martini? 